Let's go ahead and check out the brand new, uh, what is it? The Wooden Wolf. Oh, let's season. Wait, is this it? No, that's not it. Where is it? Faithful Companion. Pet the well-behaved dog in Kovishad. All right, let's go get our pet. Miles, how's it going? Go big or go home, baby. Which we are going to go over all that stuff in today's video as well. Um, let's go grab this pet. Well-behaved dog. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? He is. Hello. You received a pet. Equip your pet in the modifier and modify their look in the wardrobe. Pets auto collect gold and materials while you play, which is huge. Interact with your pet using the hello emote. Hello. Hello. Hello, pet. Hello, my pretty puppy. How are you? We got a brand new pet. Is he going to follow me? We probably got to go and equip him, huh? Get off of him. What is my wolf doing to this dog? All right. Let's go. Let's go equip him. Wardrobe. Pets right here. Brand new pet tab. We got the other three locked. Now, these ones you guys can get from the uh, buying the deluxe version. You can unlock all of them and equip them right now. However, if you don't, you can just have the brand new free pet that will do everything for you. Um, we're going to end up, we're going to grab this later. I'm not going to do it tonight, guys, but I am going to go ahead and confirm this look. So that way I got the pet, which is super awesome. Now, look, we finally got a pet. Shout out to the pet. Okay, so let's go back. We got a lot of stuff to go over and take a look at. So we got all the news, right? Uh, real quick side note, guys. Uh, the patch is live. So all the pit changes have been done. They made the following adjustment to the bosses. All this is done. Um, which is the damages and then the greatest um, boss in the world, which is the Tomb Lord. Um, all that's changed. The Blood Bishop, who really beats me down, is has been like pseudo nerfed in a way. Uh, and then we got some general purpose stuff for uh, pre-purchase, the in-game expansion, and all this stuff. Completing Capstone will now grant a Nightmare Dungeon Sigil, etc. Duplicate or obsolete ter uh, tempering manuals. Uh, manuals the player has already unlocked or has a higher tier will no longer drop. So hopefully this will help me with my druid to unlock the remaining tempering manuals that I need. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and go break down all the brand new stuff in the prepare to embody the spirit born pre-purchase vessel of hatred available now, guys. Uh, where is it on here? Let me just make sure I pull this up right. I don't want to. I guess I got to go to the shop and just make sure that this is in here. Diablo, we're going to go down to Diablo 4. And then we got the Vessel of Hatred pre-purchase. So before we get into the notes, guys, I just want to go over a few of the things that you guys are going to get and just kind of break some of this stuff down if we can scroll down and get to the uh, Vessel of Hatred here. I think it's maybe it's up here. Uh, where is the... Uh, is it just in here? Does it break all of them down? Here we go. Okay, so <clears throat> if you guys don't already have Diablo, you can get Diablo plus the expansion bundle for 70 bucks, which is pretty good, and you're going to get all the normal stuff. And then we got three different versions if you guys haven't seen this already. So we got the standard for 40, deluxe for 60, and then, of course, the ultimate, which everybody should get for 90. So let's go over the differences and what you guys get. So, of course, you everybody gets the expansion, and then you're going to get the Spiritborn armor for the brand new Spiritborn class, as well as armor cosmetics for the other classes uh the base game and then you get the snow leopard for getting all the four different ones if you get just the standard version you get that one plus the diablo immortal legendary gem i don't think anybody in in this community plays diablo immortal so that's great but you do get the pet now if you go up to the deluxe edition you're going to get all those juicy things plus the canine pet plus the uh nahanu naha ha na Hantu Warcat Mountain Armor, which is awesome. This is great that we are going to have different mounts just besides horses in the game, which I think is sweet. I've already seen some clips of this in action, and it looks amazing. Uh, and then, of course, you get the one premium Battle Pass token for the Battle Pass. Now, if you go up to the Ultimate Edition, the big 90 banger, you get all of those mentioned plus 3,000 Platinum Coins. Then you get the Tiger Pet, which is pretty sweet. Of course, it's the cutest one. And then you get the Unearth Armor Bundle for every class in the game, which is pretty cool. And then we get the Wings of Faith Cosmetic, which is BA, by the way. I'm so happy that we have wings and stuff like that back in the game on top of just the normal 
stuff that we get in the shop that we can throw on our backs. And then getting different mounts is going to be really sweet. I hope they follow Diablo 3's <clears throat> excuse me, strategy in that and just giving us new stuff each and every single season. Then we got the, the theme town portal, which is actually pretty cool. So you're going to get all that in the ultimate edition, which is pretty sick. Now let's go ahead and go over the patch notes for just some other things that uh, if anybody missed and more. So we already went over all the pre-purchase. Now we got the codex, the expansion bundle, the new class, the spirit born, as well as the next chapter in the dark campaign mercenaries, which is going to be kind of like your uh, the same merch that you like kind of hired in Diablo three. We're getting those back. Of course, we got pets and much, much more. So the uh, jungles across, we're going to get all these cosmetics that we went over, which is pretty sweet. Um, it's not a bad deal. Um, and then we get all the additionals here. Th those images are pretty sick. I mean, the Spiritborn just looks super cool. Oh, that's the expansion bundle. So the brand new Spiritborn class, guys. So ranked among the Apex Predators of the Jungle, the Spiritborn is an entirely new class. To me, it's like uh, the Witch Doctor 2.0 from Diablo 3. Mystical synergies that can only be awakened deep within the jungles. Of Nahantu. Nahantu. I'm saying that wrong. Nahantu. I'm saying that wrong. Become one of the Spiritborn and embrace the spirits entwined in the ancient civilization. I mean, this just screams Witch Doctor, which is pretty sick. Uh, you get to explore the brand new area, which is actually the Spiritborn's homeland. Um, you can recall the echoes. Oh, so they're actually bringing it from Diablo 2, which is actually pretty cool. I didn't even remember that at first. Uh, you may recall echoes of this in Diablo 2, which is pretty sick. I love the nostalgia take back. Uh, then we got the dark chapter of the main campaign. I really wonder how long this is actually going to be. I hope it's more than four hours of content. That would be really sweet. Then that puts our campaign somewhere around like, like 12 to 16 hours if doing a full campaign run on a brand new character if you've never done it. But we get the next chapter, which the, the Vessel of Hatred trailer was nuts. And then it's an attempt to unravel Mephisto's dark plot while new foes encircle your every move planning your demise so the fate of no what Narelle's soul and her ability to stop the prime evil from destroying sanctuary rest in your hands this is pretty cool i still like that they're sticking with mephisto but um i would hope that eventually guys we do get diablo in a diablo game that'd be pretty sick Mercs, and this is probably the thing I'm most excited about, even more so than Mephisto in an, uh, Mephisto in an extended um, area, is Mercs, Endgame activities, and updates. I think we've all been really pressing on Endgame stuff and more cool stuff to do, but now we get Mercenaries. It is not better to wander without a friend by your side. Never fight alone, as Mercs can join you uh, on your quest to fight side by side. You in a dense undergrowth of this brand new area, Nahantu and beyond. These powerful allies grow in power as they progress and are equipped with unique abilities in combat. So these already sound so much better than the mercs that we hired in Diablo 3, which is super cool. Also, this will help out all the solo players out there and players who like to play all by themselves. Uh, next, probably the biggest thing that I was excited about and seeing today, guys, is the new PvE endgame co-activity. Sorry, single players, but you're going to have to join up if you want to do this. So get out your comfort zone and ask somebody to do it with you. Lurking within the shadows lies your next great challenge filled with powerful tribulations and promising rewards. First of its kind, this dungeon will require eager warriors to team up and take down various perils together. More details on this will be revealed soon. I believe that we're, we are having a dev stream update or live stream here pretty soon. But I really like this. This to me just literally screams like raids it just scream screams raids and i couldn't be more excited about it because i love playing with my community and brand new players of all skill levels base game updates so there's going to be a variety of updates across the entire game to, and rework core systems that have been around since launch so you empower your favorite class with new skills added paragon boards and brand new legendary glyphs in those paragon boards which is so excited because we're going to be able to have just a plethora of 
new class builds and just new ways to really customize our characters to your experience that you want to have in Diablo 4. Explore new dungeon types, added activities and rewards of the Tree of Whispers. I hope that this the Tree of Whispers gets buffed. This is uh this the Tree of Whispers is kind of a struggle in in a little ways. Uh it's like one thing becomes good, another thing becomes bad and we just can't really get it right. But uh I'm excited to see that. Uh, the, of course, the Wanderer's best friend. Everybody's been playing with the brand new uh, pet in Diablo 4, which is really, really sweet. You can get up to four of them right now. Early, you get all this stuff early for the pets, the mount, and the wings early. We do not have to wait for October 8th, which is pretty sick. Um, and then pre-purchasing, you get the other three. So the Celebration Award, we are still on this. Um, the fires in our hearth and our hearth burn brightly. The anniversary celebrations for the Mother Blessing is now live in game. We have it until the 19th for even more EXP and gold. That is still going on, guys. So pretty, pretty cool, man. A lot of big stuff coming to the game. Big dub for the devs over at Blizzard. I am very, very, very excited about this. Um, the, the only thing is obviously the price. Uh, I feel like it's a little steep, but um, like I wouldn't mind paying 60, but uh you know what? We're going to go ahead and get everything and just make sure we have all the content for you guys so we can do it all. Uh, but go ahead and pre-purchase this, this uh, the new Vessel of Hatred edition, guys, so you can get all the juicy perks, and we can hop in and play. Um, if you guys haven't seen the new little trailer, this is pretty sick. Hi, I'm Brent Gibson. We're going to check I'm this out really fast. Oh, crap. Nope, don't do that. No, I, we don't need that. We can watch it here. What's up, game director? Diablo 4's first expansion. Oh, it's only 720. Vessel of Hatred is a story This trailer was sick, man. The impacts it has on you when you're trying to protect the things that matter to you most. On October 8th, you'll get a chance to play that next chapter and a whole lot more. And now that we've shown you the first few moments of our story, let's talk class. Yeah, Spearborn. In live stream, we'll be revealing the gameplay for our all new class, the Spearborn. Yeah. Our apex predators built for the jungle with a flow and a feel I can't wait for you to experience. Lastly, we wanted to take a moment to celebrate our announcement by going live with pets. Yes. Adventure, picking up gold Ashenera, what's that? A Sherry? Right a Shara? Like right I'm now, saying it wrong. There's a good boy waiting for you in Gilvashad. Aw. Purchase the Good boy. Edition, you'll get our themed Nahantu pets. Nahantu pets, Nahantu. Most of other cosmetics. I personally Nahantu. thank you for being on this epic journey with us. Honestly, October can't get here fast enough. Until then, stay tuned on all of our social media channels, and I'll see you in Sanctuary. Thanks, dude. Nahantu. Okay. Yeah, guys. Pretty sick, man. A um, lot of good information here. Big shout out to the devs. The reveal today was pretty insane. I'm very, very excited, and I can't wait. Uh, the big thing is, is with it becoming on October 8th, we have, what is it? Is it August when this season ends? So that means we have September and then October. So we get two months of season five, which is really quite interesting. Um, it would be kind of interesting to see what's going to happen with that. I wonder if we're going to get an extended season four PTR for season five with the uh, expansion and then just start in October on season five, which actually would be kind of interesting because if they did that then we'd have october november december of season five with the expansion and going into january we'd be right at the start of the brand new year for season six so that would be pretty sick but like the video guys let's try to get this over 50 likes comment down below let me know what you guys think about all this uh for those who are just now seeing it or if you are seeing this again give me your thoughts let me know what you guys like dislike even and what other things you were really looking forward to in the brand new season. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.